So here we have the Mini Convertible on a 13 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. From the outside though, you can see it's finished in pepper white. It's got the black alloy wheels and the black bonnet stripes as well. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. Uh, 50-50 split folding rear seat so you can increase this boot space further should you wish to do that and we have a wind brake for the car just there as well okay so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there but now that we've done a full circle you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around just briefly before we climb in i think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view there's plenty to run for on the dashboard so let's hop in and we'll do that right now Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. In the centre there, we have the rev counter, the digital readout for the speedometer within that, and then below that, the total miles of this car, which are 49,604. You can change information displayed in that section by pressing a button on the end of uh, the left-hand stalk for various bits of trip computer, fuel economy, and car information. To the left of that, we have what's called an openometer. This will show you how long the roof has been open for. Um, the roof is closed at the moment, so it's on zero. Uh, when we open the roof in a minute, I'll show you this again so you can see the difference. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls, and over on the right-hand side, we have cruise control for the car. In the center, we have the main speedometer, the fuel gauge, and then below that, the stereo. So we have a mode button down the bottom, you can then use this dial or the buttons that directly beneath uh, each of the things that's written there. Uh, but tuner is where you'll find your FM AM radio. We have DAB, CD player, auxiliary input, and two USB inputs as well. If you hit the menu button, this is where you can pair your phone, access your more computer, and configure things like time and date settings, for example. We have the main volume for the stereo just there. Beneath that, the CD player, and then climate control. So you can adjust the temperature, just here, both up and down of course. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed once it enters the vehicle. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so that's off. Back on again, or hit auto. The car will now take control of the fan speed and direction of the air to maintain the temperature that you've asked for. If you press the auto button again, you'll go back to whatever setting you had it on previously. Underneath that, we have a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings, uh, invaluable in a convertible, of course, and the same for the passenger seat as well. We have your driver side front electric window, passenger side window, and rear electric windows just there. Deadlock so you can lock the car doors from the outside. And then we have front and rear fog lights. We have USB input, auxiliary input, a 12 volt charging socket, and then a six speed manual gearbox. So with regards to the roof, we have a button up here if we pull that back towards ourselves, the roof will open to this point and then stop to give you a kind of a sunroof section. Operate the button again, the windows will lower to allow the roof uh, to remove from its catches. Uh, that will fold away and then all four windows will do up again. You can, of course, put them down after you've finished. And I said I'd show you the openometer after that. You can see the dial has now moved. So we have minutes around the outside, so 45 minutes and hours in the middle. So four hours and 45 minutes of open time is what it's recorded in its current session. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.